first guest tonight is an Academy Award nominated actor you know from his work in Spotlight and Birdman, as well as iconic films such as Batman and Beetlejuice. Don't sleep on Multiplicity or The Paper. I'm gonna throw a couple more in there. He stars in Worth, which begins streaming on Netflix September 3rd. Let's take a look. I've got, what, 1,100 families on board and uh, 6,000 more to go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. I just want you to know that I know the fund's not perfect. There are people who just don't fit within the rules we wrote. I know that. I honestly don't know what to do. Please welcome back to the show our friend Michael Keaton. How are you, Michael? I'm good, man. Nice to see you. Yeah, it's nice, nice to, to see you too. You. And, you know, I wish it yeah. wasn't on Zoom. Well, you know, I know. Hold on a second, getting a call. Getting a call? No, texting Fal Jimmy Fallon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Okay, yeah, so I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad anyway, you guys get sorry. along. Because, you know, uh, yeah. I would have thought, if one thing, if you, like, you don't leave Montana, I get it. But uh, last yeah. week, look at you two. Thick as thieves. Yeah. Laughing yeah. up. Look how happy he is. I know. No one's ever reacted like that to a Zoom interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Give me a minute. I miss. It was only a week ago, I guess. Let me reminisce a little bit. I missed it so much. <laughs> That's true. It That's is true, true though. You. That's true, though. That's very funny. No, you're right. People don't. You can't do that on Zoom. There's so much you can't do. Honestly, I did want to be there. It was my fault. I kind of screwed up. I thought only we could only do this via Zoom. Plus, I have to tell you, they give me pie when I'm there. At the Fallon show, at the Tonight Show. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, is that all it takes? <laughs> Because, well, I like pie, and I don't know, it's just never been offered to me. <laughs> well, we don't... You guys are there. Hey, what do you think if we didn't know that, we wouldn't get you a pie? I Get don't know, Michael you know, Keaton. they, I didn't, I didn't even ask. They just kind of said, hey, Mike, you like some pie? <laughs> I said, yeah, I yeah. love pie. I yeah, love that's pie. I'm a pie man more than a cake man. I'll eat cake, <laughs> but okay. I, pie is my preference. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it didn't work out. No, I get it. And by the way, my feelings, it was only that you were here that I, I you know, I was like, oh, he comes here because you were in Montana. Yeah. I, 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 I do, I have enjoyed that our Zooms during this time, I, I'm getting to see other corners yeah. of your beautiful home there. Yeah. But I, you know, you are like, a, you're an actual horseman. Is that the right way you like will ride horses out there? Yeah, yeah, no, no, horse, horseman, horseman is a good way to put it. Uh, yeah, I do, I do, I'm, you know, they're, I'm, Kind of, if I would open the window, I would look at them now. Um, but what I was thinking about, what maybe you might want to think about is when we're done, just get somebody to photograph you, throwing your head back, laughing <laughs> like a lot, <laughs> just insert it. Right. You know, okay, make, it, make it look like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> perfect, 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 perfect. No, uh, yes. I would imagine anyway, you take am, it seriously. I am here. I am here, and I do. I do ride quite a bit. I haven't had much time because I'm. You know, I want to. We'll talk about this. This project I'm involved with, worth a bit. So I've been, you know, talking about that a lot. But um, one of the, speaking of my horses, actually, um, I I'm not a not a giant consumer. You know, of things. Uh, I I don't. I actually don't need a lot of stuff, I'm, which is fortunate. So then I don't have to go out and buy a lot of stuff. But one of the things I did recently, speaking of horses, was I kept telling myself, someday I'm going to treat myself, which you know is kind of difficult for me to do, but I'm going to treat myself to something. And I thought, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? Instead of all these used, really nice, good saddles I have that you know I bought secondhand or a friend of mine gave me one as a gift, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna treat myself to a handmade saddle, which is an art an art form to have a handmade saddle. So uh, I contacted this guy whose last name is Cooper. 
He's a very good saddle maker out of Texas, moved to California. And we started to work on my saddle. And that takes, you know, that's a process. So we started, I went up to a shop. I said, yeah, let's get started. Then we would email. We would email one another back and forth. And it gets, it gets into the minutia, you know, it gets pretty esoteric, you know, unless you know what you're talking about. So we'd go back and forth. I'd go, hey, man, um, you know, in, in terms of the saddle horn, you know what I think? I think we need a three quarter instead of a, you know, half inch, blah, blah, blah. The skirts should be like this. I don't, I don't want a full oxbow stirrup, maybe. And we're going back and forth. And he'd respond. And then there would be these gaps. And I wouldn't hear from him. And I'd go, hey, how you doing? Just checking in. You know, we were talking about the engraving down on the bottom. Keep it simple. But yeah, okay, ha, ha, <laughs> exclamation point, right? And I'm going, all right, you know, <laughs> you know, he's enjoying this. Then I wouldn't hear from him for a while. And I'd go, hey, just checking in, you know, uh, what do you think about the blah, blah, blah? And he'd go, sure. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I go, <laughs> Ever. <laughs> right? Right? It's my boy, Cash Cooper. And I go, hey, uh, haven't heard from you. Uh, yeah. And then there'd be nothing. And then one day I emailed him something, you know, to let's wrap this up. Because admittedly, I was taking a long time. And and then he, he I hear, he emails me back, who is this? <laughs> I go, who is this? What are you talking about? Who is this? I had been mistakenly emailing Bradley Cooper. <laughs> yeah. The whole time. <laughs> and he's on the other end going, what the f is he even talking? I don't even know what this means. <laughs> and, and then he, I, I thought it was hysterical. And I, I emailed him back and I go, oh man, that is so funny. Blah, blah, blah. And he goes, yeah, I was kind of rolling along with it, but I didn't know anybody. <laughs> what I was supposed to say. <laughs> and he said, I thought it was really a great gag, but I ran out, I kind of ran out, you know, because you were getting really specific <laughs> about stuff. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love that, that you did put an unfair pressure on him that he's like, okay, we're doing a bit. I don't understand it. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> uh, I have. Uh, I do want to talk about the movie. Uh, we'll be right back with more from Michael Keaton. 